Morning rain showers, clouds to hazy sun, very warm and breezy on Thursday. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see from the Ultimate Doppler Radar, we still have some wind advisories in Brown. The Ultimate Doppler Radar, presented by Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair, East Tennessee's number one tire shop and auto repair since 1953. When we're talking about these uh, advisories, they all have different expiration times. I'm looking at the Smokies. They've got a wind advisory until 7 a.m. for gusts around 50. Uh, Campbell County, Scott County, till 1 in the morning, gusts around 45. That also includes Morgan County, but Fentress as well as Cumberland until midnight central time, which essentially is one o'clock in the morning. So we'll keep an eye on that. As far as our weather is concerned, the gusts of wind will continue in spots. But if you're looking for winter, look no further than the north and west. Clearly the rain has already moved in to middle Tennessee. We're going to get some rain showers in here, especially after midnight and early tomorrow. But the winter outlook is amazing. They've had all these blizzard warnings in dark blue. We're talking about Jackson County, Minnesota. We're looking at more uh, winter storm warnings in Holt County, Nebraska, and even back towards, say, ice warnings. In parts of Iowa, they're getting more icing that's causing some real headaches there up across the Great Lakes and even more blizzard warnings around Carbon County, Wyoming. So if you're looking for winter, you don't have to go that far, all things considered. You look at our temperatures as of 8 o'clock, we're at 74, but it's 34 in Topeka, and they're in the negative single digits, negative numbers for actual temperatures, Bismarck, Rapid City, and Billings. So if someone says, oh, winter's not around, it's, it's around, it's just not in the southeast. And what would happen, in your mind, if we could flip the coin in March? Because there's still going to be some opportunities for winter weather here, even though there's no wind chill here, but they could see wind chills as low as negative 40 in North Dakota and into South Dakota. They've got negative 32, negative 30 as of 8 o'clock Eastern time. That wind chill is brutal, and winter has come back with a vengeance up to the far north and west. Now, we had some winds today. I said 35 to 45. We had a 42-mile-an-hour gust in Knoxville. 34 in Oak Ridge, 39 in Crossville, 37 in Oneida, just to give you a sample. And our wind speeds at 8 o'clock are still busy. They're up to 21 sustained in Wartburg, 15 at McGee Tyson, 17 in Newport. So uh, they'll be generally pretty busy tonight, uh, no doubt about that. So generally 5 to 15, uh, maybe 10 to 20 perhaps, if not more, especially on hilltops. But the clouds may come and go. Later tonight, we will anticipate some rain showers moving in. Our high temperature today came in as predicted at 79, 55, the normal high. So we were, if you think about it, 24 degrees above normal. And we were 19 degrees above normal for the low. Our peak gusts, 42 miles an hour, but the record high, 2018. There was a record that fell today in Crossville. They broke a, a 70 degree record from 1980. Crossville beat their record high by four degrees. Chattanooga came in at 82 degrees today. They broke their record from by one degree. It was 81 from 2018. So Chattanooga, Crossville, two record highs today. They hit 84 in Sevierville. Amazing stuff. 79 in Knoxville, 82 in Chattanooga, and 81 in Huntsville. Just to give you a sample of how warm it's been in the southeast. Rain showers late tonight. Morning showers Thursday, but I think it's even warmer tomorrow. We're headed to a high around 81 and then falling temperatures on Friday, but nothing too extreme. Speaking of extreme, Severe Weather Awareness Week continues. This is actually uh, started on Monday, or Sunday, I should say. Today is Wednesday. We had a, a tornado drill at 1030 this morning. If you have a NOAA weather radio, or perhaps if you live near tornado sirens, they may have gone off today. But tornado safety and preparedness is the key. Always like to remind people that the basement is the best place to go when you are dealing with a tornado warning. That's a safe space that you can always find refuge, perhaps. But also, if you don't have a basement, you can go to an interior room that's perhaps second, if uh, preferred, is a secondary room that you can go to without windows and without exposure to an exterior wall. So those are the two spots best place to be during a tornado warning, which we're sure to have, I'm sure, as we get further into actual spring, because it's still technically winter. Notice where this line goes, future cast kind of stretches, stretches up towards, say, Bowling Green and Nashville, and it kind of falls apart, but then when it comes in here, it's more closer to sunrise, as we'll find about a 40% chance of morning rain showers, and then they're gone. By the afternoon, there's not much to see here. Temperatures climb all the way up into the low 80s with a wind gust around 30 miles per hour tomorrow. I left a 20% chance of rain on Friday, most of it south of I-40. And then you can see this little trough, the line of low pressure stretching across near Huntsville and parts of Tennessee. But we'll have more rain coming in, especially on Saturday. I think it's going to fill in a lot more than what's advertised there. So for tonight, we're down to 63. 
more clouds. It's a windy night. We're looking 10 to 25 plus. Those winds could pick up as that front approaches. Showers will be late, especially after midnight. 62 for a low in the Follett. Could dip as low as 63 for Newport and 61 Athens, 61 in Kingston and Crossville. Thursday's high 81. I think it's warmer tomorrow by about 2 degrees. Morning showers, clouds give way to hazy sun, and winds generally 10 to 15, gusting to as much as 30 miles per hour. Look at these highs, 79 in Morristown, 82 in Athens, spring fever is definitely sprung, and if you're dealing with allergies, it's not your imagination, tree pollen is exploding in response to this warmth. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville, East Tennessee. I have us in the low, possibly mid-60s, between midnight and 2 a.m., but uh, dress for the mid to upper 50s. Mid to upper 50s is what I expect the daytime temperature to be on Friday with about a 20% chance of rain. Most of that's in the afternoon. And then on Saturday, cloudy with periods of rain. Could pick up a half inch to as much as an inch. But most of us will probably be in that half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain on Saturday alone. More showers come in on uh, Sunday <clears throat> and again on Monday. Maybe even a rumble of thunder by that point, but we're in the mid 60s and a colder start back to the 30s. Mid 30s come Wednesday morning, which is the 1st of March. So it might come in, might come in like a lamb, but could it go out like a lion? Hmm, interesting. We're talking about that on the premium side each and every afternoon. If you want to join us, just go to CaptainAccurate.com. Well, make sure you uh, download the free Captain Accurate weather app with Pete Michaels traffic. It's uh, very easy to find. Just search Captain Accurate, the App Store, and Google Play. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.